Hey, happy Monday. Welcome back into a new week and welcome back to a new week in our series, our podcast series entitled Choose to Live. And this week we're talking about living with intentionality so that this can be the best year of our life. This is Father Mark over at Christ the Redeemer Catholic Church in Thibodeau. This week we're talking about how to live selflessly. And if we're going to live without ourselves as the center of the world, you might say, without ourselves as in control of our life, we need to start with our schedule and our time. And that's where I left you yesterday. Yesterday we said, let's take a look at our schedule, our time, because for some of us, that's the most valuable thing that we have. I promised you yesterday that we'd talk about three practical things that you can do to invite the Lord into your schedule. And I want to give that to you really within our schedule. All right? I want to invite you into a morning offering, a midday check-in, and an evening examination. Three things that you can do to invite God into your schedule. How about we start off the day with the Lord, right? Imagine if the first things out of your mouth or your heart in the morning were praise of the Lord rather than fighting with the snooze bus and, or maybe even checking your phone. How about before we get out of the day, before the day gets away from us, or maybe even we leave for work or school, we give the Lord a morning offering. Lots of different ways for you to do that. You can kind of Google away and find morning offerings that are there for you. But what that essentially is, is just a prayer of your heart where you consecrate the day to the Lord. Remember that the word consecration, to consecrate means to set apart. And imagine if one of the first things that we did in the morning was we gave God the day. We gave him permission to guide us, to lead us, to speak to us throughout the day. And the first thing that you might do is a morning offering. Start off the day with God. Second practical thing that you can do to invite the Lord into your schedule is to put an alarm on your phone and and have it go off at maybe your lunch hour, whatever that is. Maybe for you, it's exactly 12 o'clock, but you know your schedule. It could be whenever you're going to eat lunch. And what if the first, let's say, five minutes of lunch, instead of kind of moving into food or conversation, maybe if it was actually some reflection, and just ask yourself one simple question. Hey, how's the morning going? In other words, is the morning and the trajectory of the day, right? Do you find yourself with God in the the movement of the day, or do you find yourself being kind of pulled away from the Lord? It's a lot easier for us to stop the you might say a snowball coming down a mountain at the top of the mountain rather than the bottom of the mountain. In other words, if maybe something happened at 9 o'clock in the morning and it kind of puts you in a bad mood, it's a lot easier to nip that in the bud at noon than it is at 9 p.m. when you're still in a bad mood, right? And if at midday we're able to check in with our heart, are things going good, things going bad? Or we find ourselves like in communion with God, do we find ourselves moving away from God? How about midday you just kind of check in with the Lord and see how things are going? Again, put an alarm on your phone to stop what you're doing, and, and maybe even right before you eat lunch, just go ahead and check in on your heart. All right, third thing that you can do is, before you go to bed, look back on the day and just ask yourself, how did the day go? I think one of the things that happens for too many of us is that we get too busy in life, and when we don't reflect upon our life, when we don't learn from experience, we're missing out on the classroom where God is going to teach us about holiness. Many of us are uh, maybe familiar with saying our prayers at the end of the day, and maybe one of those prayers is uh, an act of contrition. But that act of contrition is always most authentic when it's connected to the nuts and bolts of the day and how things actually happened. Maybe at the end of the day, you look back upon the day and just ask yourself, how did you do today? And more importantly, how did you do with uh, your communion with God? Like, was was He with you? Were you listening to Him? Or were you trying to just do things on your own? Some of us, that might be kind of foreign, but uh, taking a shot, taking small steps along the way, God's going to teach you if we just give Him permission. So three things that you can do with your schedule are actually built into your schedule. Start off the morning with the Lord, check in midday and see how you're doing, and wrap up the day with reflection upon that day. If you come back tomorrow, we're going to talk about how we can allow God into our finances, talk about other things that possess us, right? And until we have that conversation, God bless you.